Hello everybody and welcome back to Blade and Sorcery and my newly made backyard firing range. Today, as you can probably guess, we're talking about gun mods. And I think it's safe to say that among all the gun mods that exist for this game, Ghetto's Firearms is probably the best. This is an M14 added by that very mod. Let's see if I can hit one of these here targets. I got a plate. Not bad. While I love Ghetto's Firearms for its insane amount of weapons that it adds to the game, and all the attachments you can use to customize those weapons, its one downside is that it's only for PC VR. You can't get it on Nomad. So today, we're going to be talking about some mods that you can get for Nomad that add all the pew-pews you could possibly want. All by one modder. Five vents. It's gonna be great. Let's see if I can hit any more of these targets. Bye, Mr. Urn. Got it. Plate. 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 Missed the cup, missed the cup. You know what? I think that's enough. Let's just go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a really cool transition with that. There's gonna be a bullet hole in the screen and then it's gonna zoom into the hole and we're gonna be in the next area. It's gonna be a great transition, unless I'm really, really lazy, in which case I'll just say that I was, I'll, I'll use this clip. I'll use this clip right here and we'll just, we'll just slide into the next one. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Western Town, a map mod for Blade and Sorcery and Blade and Sorcery Nomad that will serve as our testing ground for today. We've also got some lovely cowboys that unfortunately currently are only for PCVR, but I have it on good authority that a Nomad version is being worked on for them. They also use Vince's guns with an additional mod that adds brains for them to do so. Now, Vince has quite a few gun mods, and you'll have to download them all separately, but when you do, if you go to the item book and scroll down, you'll find a nice category called Vise Guns, with a bunch of subcategories for all of his different pew-pews. And to keep things simple, we're just gonna go through each and every single one of these, and all of the guns inside. Since we're here in the Old West, we'll start with the revolver category, and the 1851 Colt Navy Revolver, which has its own holster. Lots of Vise pistol mods come with holsters, this is probably my favorite gun of the pack. Look at those beautiful engravings. To arm this weapon, you have to actually use the Alt-Use button. If you're playing with Quest controllers, that's the Spell Wheel button. And if you're using Index controllers like myself, it's the Touchpad. Pulls back the hammer, point, and shoot. To reload this gun, you have to grab it by the cylinder and press the Alt-Use button on the hand you're holding it with to pull the hammer back. Then you can find this handy little pouch full of ball shot in the item book. Just pull out one of the balls, hold it to the cylinder, let go, grab this handle, and it will pump that ball right into one of the spots. And you'll have to do this six times until it's fully loaded. You can also fan the hammer by holding trigger on the gun, taking your opposite hand, grabbing the hammer, then pulling the trigger on that hand holding the hammer. If you run out of ammo, you can also hold the gun by the barrel and use it as a bludgeoning weapon. If you don't like reloading at all, all of Vi's guns also come with infinite ammo versions, so you can just keep firing away to your heart's content. Oh, and some of Vi's guns can be spun on your finger by holding the trigger and the alt use button at the same time. That's pretty neat. Oh, and one thing about the holsters, they can be a little tricky to take off if you equip them to your body. Most of the time you'll just end up pulling the gun out, but if you hold your hand over the holster and press trigger, you should get it, but just like what happened there, I ended up getting the gun again. But if you kind of move your hand around, press trigger, try in different spots, eventually you will get the holster off, so... It takes a few tries, but you'll get it eventually. The Colt Single Action Army comes in two different versions, one with a brown handle and one with an ivory handle called the Peacemaker. We're gonna use the Peacemaker, because it's my favorite. Functions almost identically to the Colt Navy Revolver. Pull the hammer back, fire at your target. You can also spin this gun, and the hammer can be fanned, though sometimes when you try to hold the trigger after spinning it, it might try to spin again. It didn't do it that time, but that's good. Very nice. The only real difference with this gun and the Colt Navy Revolver is how it reloads. Slightly different. Let me demonstrate. Same deal, grab the cylinder, then you're gonna find a pouch in the ammo section of your item book that has 45 ammo in it. Hit the Alt-Use button on that hand, and you actually need to grab this to spit out all the spent casings. Then, you can go ahead and start reloading your bullets. Six shots, hit the Alt-Use button again, she is ready to fire. Very good. One in the pooper. 
Gentlemen, I present to you the Smith & Wesson Schofield Model 3. Grab a hold of the barrel, hit the alt-use button to break that sucker open. You'll find a pouch in the speed loader section of your item book to give you speed loaders for this here revolver. Drop it in, it'll go ahead and do that. Now you can actually hit the alt-use button on your right hand. Pull that thing back, it'll cock the hammer. Bang. Pull that hammer back again. Bang. They're dead. Yeah, this gun spins too. Can you fan the hammer though? Let's find out. I'll be damned. Yes, you can. And wow, that was actually really fast. Let's reload her. Ooh, look at that. Pops the spent casings out. Love that. That's awesome. Also, if you close it back up with your left hand, it won't pull the hammer back automatically. Got to do it with the gun holding the hand to get that hammer back automatically. Getting a little more modern with the Colt Police Special. We're gonna start with the reload on this one. Gonna wanna grab it by the cylinder, pull the trigger on that hand. Then if you go into the speed loaders tab of the item book, you'll find a pouch of 38 special speed loaders. Just hold that to the cylinder, let go, then grab that cylinder again, pull the trigger. She's locked and loaded. Semi-auto on this one. No need to hold the hammer. Just keep pulling the trigger. Must've been wearing a vest. He is wearing a vest. What? Grab the cylinder again, pull the trigger, then you want to grab the front of the gun to spit all those spent casings out. Reload that bad boy. Close her back up, you're ready to rock again. Check it out, Colt Python. Pretty similar to the police special. Grab the cylinder, pull the trigger. You're gonna find speed loaders for 357 bullets. Load her up, but this one you can actually hit alt use and flick that cylinder back into place. This is also semi-automatic. The faster you can pull the trigger, almost. Actually, it's kind of got a slow fire rate. Grab the cylinder, open her up, reach towards the front, get all those casings out while they exploded, and reload. If it doesn't work, you can always hit them with it. Heavy is good, heavy is reliable. That's all for the revolvers, and we have some men up here trying to poison the watering hole. So let's talk about the Winchester Model 1873 Lever Action Rifle. You'll find an ammo pouch in the ammo category called Winchester LAR Cartridge Pouch, and it's filled with little baby 45 bullets, I believe. Just gonna pop those into that little chamber right there. Holds about 15 shots. Give me a minute. There we go, fully loaded. Two ways to cock this. Grab it with your hand, hit the alt use button, chamber around, take a shot. One down. Now if you actually do this with one hand, you'll spin the gun! Got him! Yeehaw! Before we move too far into more modern weaponry, we're gonna check out the Others tab, which has some more old school items, such as this flintlock pistol. It takes musket ball shots, or any kind of ball shot. You'll find these in the ammo category. Drop it into the barrel, grab the ramrod, drop that in there, grab it out again, place it back. You can actually grab the flintlock with your other hand to cock it, pull the trigger, and say goodbye to whoever that guy was. You can also cock it one-handed. Look, man, I swear he was like this when I got here. This is the LePage target pistol. It works just like the flintlock. Drop that in there, except you don't have to actually use a ramrod. Cock that hammer back. Now the law don't know what you did. They can't prove nothing. Still not sure what ammo it actually takes. It takes the musket balls, and it also takes the ball shot from the 1851 Colt Navy revolver. Whatever. In the butt! You're not gonna believe it, so this guy here was just minding his own business when all of a sudden that guy there walked up and shot him, and then he shot himself. It was crazy, I saw the whole thing. Look, pal, far be it for me to tell you how to do your job. I just don't think you should be burying corpses in the middle of the street, you know? These are Derringer pistols. I'm gonna use this one because I like the ivory handle. Grab the barrel, press Alt-Use, crack her open. You'll find an ammo pouch for 41 short ammo in the ammo category. Just take that, drop it in there. Little secret, there are some other ammo types that fit inside of this for some reason. No idea why. Press Alt-Use on your hand that's freaking out to close the barrel, cock the hammer back, and... Wow. I thought it wasn't gonna take him out, but it did, and we're gonna need a new grave digger around here. Double tap to make sure. All right, grab that barrel, crack her open, let the bullets fall out. Springfield Model 1884 Trapdoor. What you're gonna wanna do here is grab the hammer, pull it back, grab the trapdoor, open it up. You'll find an ammo pouch in the ammo section for 4570 rounds, bullets. Pop them in, close the door, point and shoot. And if you turn around behind me, you'll see that one of our waterhole guys is back. Why am I bouncing like that? I hate that. Stop it. We'll take care of him that we will, won't we? Come on, baby. 
Nice. Do you need a count? No, sir. Well, Sheriff, looks like I need to be moving on from this town. Because I don't think I'm particularly welcome in it anymore. One in the butt. <laughs> Alright, couple of things. One, welcome to the Moorlands. Two, I forgot that the Springfield rifle also has a bayonet that you can attach to it, and it says this. Love that! Let's talk about pistols. This is the Beretta M9A1, and for whatever reason I can only get it to spin when it's not loaded. You can find a pouch of magazines in the magazine category in the item book. Let's go ahead and pop that bad boy in there. Chamber around, and bang! He's dead. My aim is awful. Ugh. Ooh, if it runs out of ammo, it'll... Pull the slide back. Gotta like that. Can I just... Yep. Alt-Use will close that up. Good. Do you hear that? It's the Screech of a Deagle! Here's the magazine pouch you can find in the magazine category. I love this thing. Run out of ammo. It'll lock back. Eject the mag. Put a new one in. Alt-Use button. Ready to rock again. All right, quiet down, everybody. I was hired to do a job, and that job is take this man out. And for that, I've got this 1911 hardballer from Hitman. You can find the magazine pouch. That's right, in the magazine section. Did you see that weird little dance he did as he was getting shot? That was weird. I liked it. In the butt. Luger P08 with its own holster. That's real leather. Give it a sniff. Sniff it. All right. You can find the magazine pouch in the magazine section. I think we're all familiar with that by now. Mauser C96. This one uses clips. You can find the pouch for that in the speed loader section. Let's go ahead and pull that back. Stick that in. Grab it again to load it. She's ready to rock, boys. Oh, come on, don't do that. Sir, that's inappropriate. And I, bet that you, you I can't believe you would say this sort of thing to me. I apologize for my outburst, but... Now let's talk shotguns. All of these come from Vi's shotgun pack, except for the last one I'm going to talk about, and you can find a pouch of buckshot in the ammo category. Alt-use button to crack that sucker open. Put the ammo in. Alt use again, load it up, fire away. Hey, that guy survived the Mauser. Didn't survive the shotgun. This is a CZ double barrel, by the way. Crack it, spits out the shells. If you only fire one shell and you crack it, it'll only spit out one shell. And if you crack it with the left hand by using the alt use button, you can actually peek the ammo. You can do that with, I think, all of the shotguns that are brake barrels like this. Also, for the brake barrels, if you hold the Alt-Use button down, you can actually fire both barrels at once. This is the coach gun. Smaller barrel diameter than the other shotgun I just used, but uses the same shells. Why? I don't know. Holy shit, it took his head off! Also, I don't think you can fire both barrels at once with this one. I tried to figure out how, but it would not do it. No big deal. Might just be getting something wrong. Uh -huh. Whatever. This here is just a regular double barrel shotgun. For whatever reason, it also can't fire both barrels at the same time, or I'm just an idiot and can't figure it out. It was gross. Sawn off, baby, because you gotta have a sawn off shotgun. This one, pretty sure you can fire both barrels at once. Yep, that was both barrels. Load that back up just to make sure. One, two, yep, okay. Two shots. Time to put the double barrel away. We got something more modern. This here's a Spaz 12, and it's actually really cool because you can fold out the stock by grabbing it and hitting the alt use button. Gonna want to load a whole bunch of shells on in there. Give me a second. All right, she's ready to rock. Now this here is a pump action spaz. 
I know they also make this in a semi-automatic version, but this one, it's only got the pump action. You boys look like you're about ready to commit a war crime, and I've got just the thing. The Winchester Model 1897 Trench Shotgun. Put them shells into the war crime stick. Ready to rock! Also, you can slam fire this by holding the trigger down on your other hand and then just pump it away! And, to really spice up your war crimes, it's got a bayonet. Instant demonetization initiated! Now this shotgun is actually its own separate mod. It's called the Wastelander Shotgun and it fires DOOM shells, which you can find in the ammo category. They're pretty big and menacing. Put those in there. Alright. They set enemies on fire. You'll also notice it has a nice little bayonet that you can actually take off of the gun and use it to stabby stabby and then put it back and continue to do horrible things. Can it be double fired? Double barrels at the same time? Sure can. Sorry buddy, gotta get a stab in. There we go. All right, let's move on to bolt action rifles. Car 98, you can find a pouch of stripper clips in the speed loader category for this. What you're gonna wanna do is grab the bolt, it'll pull it back, grab your clip, put it in, grab it again, grab the bolt, hit the alt use button. Now you're locked and loaded, ready to rock. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna get that guy, but I did. Now these are bolt action, so you're going to have to cycle a new round each time. And actually, there's three versions of this. There's one with a scope, and I've already loaded it. Just gotta get a hold of that bolt. I think I already did, that's fine. See the scope? I missed! This one has a scope, and I frickin' missed! That's okay, cause this one has a bayonet! Can't miss with a bayonet. Almost forgot, with the scope one, you can actually grab hold of the scope, and I think it's trigger? No, it's alt-use. Alt-use to zoom in the scope. That was some intense recoil. Oh, that was the only bolt action, huh? Alright, we're doing one last change of scenery, we're gonna finish out the video here in the base game market, and now we are talking about semi-automatic rifles with this M1 Garand. Pull that back. We've got a pouch located in the speed loader section in the book full of clips for our M1 Garand. We're gonna put that right in there, press it down, she is locked and ready to rock. Gotta empty the clip, cause I missed. That's right, grand ping. Love it. Let's say we do one more. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Now we got the SKS, bag of clips in the speed loader section. Go ahead and pull that bolt back, load it in, same deal, press it down, and gotta grab that again to load her. All right. My aim isn't great. That's all right. I think we've already established that my aim is not great. Gentlemen, it's assault rifle time. This is the SCAR, and this is a bag of magazines you can find in the magazine section. Hold that there, let go. Now you're ready to rock after you pull the charging handle. One pull of the trigger will get you two bullets. Hold it down for full auto. And that's the SCAR. Okay, moving into submachine guns. This is the HK MP7. This is a bag of magazines for it. You know where to find it. Load that sucker up, and this thing's actually really cool because you can grab the back of it, hit Alt-Use, and it will extend. And if you grab the handle, hit Alt-Use again, you get a green laser. And if you pull the trigger while holding that handle, you get a flashlight. Isn't that neat? This little beauty also comes with a silencer you can find in the attachments category. Also, that's where you can get the Springfield bayonet. I don't know if I said that earlier. Hold it to the barrel, let go, it'll screw itself on. Now you're ready to be a quiet killer. That wasn't very quiet. I guess that's why they call them suppressors. <laughs> yeah. This here's a Mac 10, boys, and it also has a sliding stock. Cool. Also, has a silenced version. 
Jesus, buddy, god dang. MP40 also has a stock that you can fold out by holding the alt use button when you grab it. Go ahead and sprechen the Deutsch. To eject the magazine, you have to be holding it the same way I'm holding it, and then press alt use. And now, one of my personal favorites. A Tommy gun! Get out of here, kids, you bother me. It's a Thompson submachine gun. And this is a grenade! Strike. This is an RPG, and this is a quiver filled with rockets. You can find the quiver of rockets in the explosives category. Well, it looks like we're on the final category, machine guns. This is the Bren Mark II. You can find ammo for it in a bag in the magazine section. Load it in, no need to pull any charging handle, but you do have this thing here that you can press the trigger or alt use, it's alt use, to extend the feet. We're not gonna need those though, are we guys? Nope, didn't need them. To eject the mag, grab hold right there, press the alt use button again, spits it right out. Bren Mark II. I really love this next machine gun because it started its life as an April Fool's Day joke. It's the Tipman Gatling Gun, and this is the Cursed Variant. If you picked up the April Fool's Day version of this mod and haven't checked on it since, there is now a working version of the Tipman Gatling Gun. Look, the barrels heat up. That's really cool. And now, the last of the machine guns. The Auto Peacemaker from Pixel Gun 3D. Barrels also heat up on this. It has a hundred round magazine. Just go ahead and reach down there and grab it to pop it out. There is a mag pouch you can get in the magazine section. Reload. She's ready to rock again. And if I remember correctly, does this overheat? It doesn't overheat, it just runs out of bullets. Well everybody, that's gonna be it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you check out these mods. But, one last thing before I go, this is specifically for PC VR players that use Spectral Armory. As I said at the beginning of the video, all of Vyvince's gun mods have infinite ammo versions, and those infinite ammo versions work very well with Spectral Armory. Oh yeah. Even the big boys. Like, comment, and subscribe.